Hey guys and welcome to this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Numero 1 de Chanel skincare line. I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts. I'm going to talk a little bit more about the science behind this new eco-friendly skincare line from Chanel. And also I'm going to show you the consistency of some of the products. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new here and you love luxury beauty and Chanel, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now and become part of this lovely beauty community that we have here. And if you're returning, welcome back dear friends. If if you have tried any of the products from this new skincare line, be sure to leave us a comment and let us know how it works for you. This is a new launch from Chanel and apparently no one has tried this skincare line before. So this is going to be my initial thoughts. I'm going to talk mainly about the science behind this skincare line. Am I willing to purchase the products? Which products I'm going to be purchasing? And I have samples from this skincare line. So I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts. I'm a huge and very faithful Chanel lover. So I've tried most of the Chanel skincare line with a few exceptions, of course, but most of the Chanel skincare line I've already tried and tested. First of all, I wanted to try everything with samples just to see how is the texture, how is the, how fragranced are the products because Chanel skincare is quite fragranced and I am in my mid thirties. And since I started to reach my mid thirties, I have been very careful with my skincare. In my mid twenties, I was using mostly Chanel skincare and I was repurchasing mostly Chanel skincare, but as I reached my 30s, I am a lot more consistent and a lot more careful with the products that I put on my face. So let's go ahead and get started with this new skincare line from Chanel. Numero 1 de Chanel is the first eco-responsible anti-aging beauty line from Chanel. Beauty line because it consists of a skincare line, also there is a makeup line and there is a fragrance. I already showed you the foundation, I shared with you my first impression review and so far I really like this foundation. But today we're only focusing on the skincare line. I'm going to talk briefly about each product from this new skincare line from Chanel, but before that I would like to focus a little bit more on the research and on the key ingredient of this new anti-aging skincare line so that you're going to know what to expect. First of all, you have to know that this is an anti-aging skincare line that is targeting the first signs of aging. So this is not going to completely reverse wrinkles. This is not something that is going to erase wrinkles and that is going to turn back time. This is more like an anti-aging skincare line that is, I would say, mostly suitable for those of you who just are looking for hydration, environmental protection of the skin, it's a very good moisturizing skincare line, but it's not going to erase wrinkles. So this is something very important because since there is a huge marketing campaign around this new skincare line from Chanel, a lot of people might think that this could actually be the holy grail that is going to turn back time. No, this is not going to act like retinol for sure, or like a vitamin A related product. This is not going to act in the same way, but overall, I think that it's a very good skincare line. The key ingredient here is the red camellia or the so-called winter rose. This flower is not only exceptionally beautiful, but it also has a lot of skincare benefits, which I now have been investigating over the years. However, keep in mind that this is not something new or groundbreaking for the skincare industry. The red camellia is a flower that is present in a lot of skincare lines and in a lot of skincare products. It is not something new that Chanel just invented. It is not completely groundbreaking. You have to know that it has been used in the cosmetic industry for many years, actually for centuries to be exact. Camellia oil is a very well researched and very well known cosmetic product and it has been used in China for more than 1000 years. There are hundreds of species of camellia found in Asia, but primarily there are three types of camellia oil that are most commonly found on the market. And these are Camellia sinensis, which is the common tea plant used to make black tea and green tea. Then we have Camellia oleifera seed oil, which is often referred to as tea seed oil and has been used for centuries in skincare. And it's even used for cooking. And then we have Camellia japonica, also known as tsubaki, which is primarily used in the cosmetic industry. Chanel laboratories have been researching the red camellia flower for many years, and they have discovered that it has great benefits to target the first signs of aging. So this is skincare line is mostly going to be suitable for those of you who are in their 30s, 
it's going to be most beneficial. It doesn't mean that you can't use it if you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s. It's just important to set here the right expectations. So this is not a skincare line that is going to reverse wrinkles. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the effects of the chameleon. So that's how you're going to understand why it targets the first signs of aging. The Camellia Oleifera seed oil penetrates very quickly into the skin without leaving a greasy feel and it's very stable against oxidation. This oil contains natural antioxidants such as vitamin E, polyphenols, and they provide protection from environmental aggressors. It's also known for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. And this makes the Camellia Oleifera oil very suitable even for people who have sensitive skin, um, such as people who have rosacea and people who have eczema. Now be careful here. Chanel advertised the skincare line as suitable for people who have sensitive skin, but it always depends on the type of sensitivity and on the amount of sensitivity. Some people have a very sensitive skin, other people have less sensitive skin. So you have to know your skin. Keep in mind that this skincare line is fragranced. Like all Chanel skincare products, this one as well is fragranced. There is actually one Chanel skincare product that is not fragranced. This is the Solution 10. But then we're not talking about this one here. I've tried, I have samples of the products from the Numero 1 de Chanel skincare line and it is fragrance. You're going to feel the fragrance upon application of each of the products. So in case you're sensitive to fragrances, this might be bothering you. And in case you your skin is sensitive, again, this might be bothering you. Again, if you have rosacea or eczema, this is not a skincare line that I would recommend, even though it does contain this camellia oil, which is very beneficial for sensitive skin and for dry skin and for eczema prone skin for rosacea but i don't think that this formulation in particular is going to suit anyone with rosacea prone skin or with eczema prone skin because of the fragrance the fragrance of this skincare line is very pleasant personally i'm not bothered by fragrance in skincare however if i have to be honest as i started to reach my mid 30s i tend to choose more skincare and I tend to gravitate more towards skincare that is not fragranced because it feels better on my skin. But still, if you enjoy a little bit of fragrance, keep in mind that it's not as fragranced as the Hydro Beauty line from Chanel. The fragrance of this Numero 1 skincare line is very similar, if not identical, to the Hydro Beauty skincare line. I have a full review of the whole Hydro Beauty skincare line from Chanel, and I'm going to link this video in the description box. I have been using the Hydro Beauty skincare line from Chanel for years, especially in my mid-20s. The other Camellia extract that Chanel are using in this new Numero 1 skincare line is the Camellia Japonica. And again, this is not new even for Chanel because they have been using extract from Camellia Japonica in their Hydro Beauty line as well so this is not a new ingredient for, for Chanel and the Camellia Japonica flower and extract have multiple benefits for the skin it boosts the presence of several antioxidant enzymes that help the skin to naturally defend itself against external aggressors so this makes the skincare line quite quite good also the Camellia Japonica extract is rich in antioxidants, essential fatty acids, it has vitamin A, B, D, E, which help to seal the moisture in the skin and help the skin to repair itself and to recover itself. So overall, that's why I said in the beginning that this is actually a good skincare line. The reason why I didn't purchase some um, full-size products for now is because I wanted to try the consistency of the products and I'm going to get into that in a minute. I'm going to show you the consistency of the products that I have currently. Now, I would like to go ahead and take a closer look at each of the products from this Numero 1 skincare line and I want to give you my thoughts about each of the products. Now I'm going to start with my favorite products for, for product, excuse me, product from this skincare line and this is the eye cream. I love the eye cream because it is not fragranced. So I would 100% recommend this eye cream. I've used um, a little sample of the eye cream and it feels incredibly good, moisturizing and light under the eyes. I have very sensitive eyes. I have also very sensitive skin. And um, a little bit about my skin type, in case you are new to my channel, I'm 35 years old. I have normal to combination skin. 
I'm a skincare lover and I love testing new skincare all the time, but my skin is quite sensitive and it easily reacts. I also have very, very sensitive eyes. Now, I love the eye cream. This is definitely a product that I'm going to purchase right away because I don't have currently, I'm finishing my current eye cream. And I would love to use this one because it is not fragranced. It has a very light consistency. It feels very moisturizing and something that I love. It contains squalane, which I absolutely love in eye creams. This is an ingredient that I adore in eye creams. This is an ingredient that really boosts moisture, that really helps to moisturize this very delicate area around the eyes. And upon application, I can see and I can feel that this cream moisturizes my skin so well. And even it has a little bit of a plumping effect on um, my fine lines here because I'm 35 years old, I don't have any procedures and of course I have some smile lines here which I find it very useful when I find an eye cream that can plump up those little fine lines and I find that I need really good hydration under my eyes because the skin here is a little bit different than the rest of the face. Um, my skin around my eyes is a little bit more dry and that's why I have those um, little fine lines here. So I find this cream to be absolutely gorgeous, excellent. So this is the one product that without doubt I'm going to recommend. Now Chanel said that you can even apply a little bit of this cream on the eyelashes. I didn't do that and I'm not going to do that because my eyes are incredibly sensitive. You can't even imagine how many troubles I have with, with my eyes. So that's why I haven't tried it like this but I love applying this all over this area and it definitely feels very hydrated. Moving on to the serum and I'm going to be inserting um, some videos just to show you the consistency of the serum. The serum is very lightweight. My skin literally drinks the serum immediately after I apply it on the skin. It sinks into the skin so beautifully. So right now I'm going to be looking down at my laptop just so that I'm can look the ingredient list and I'm also going to show you the ingredient list so that you can have a look at together with me. So the serum is very lightweight as I mentioned. It does have Camellia Japonica flower water, it has the Camellia Japonica extract, and then it has a little bit of hyaluronic acid, adenosine, lactic acid which are all ingredients that I love and the lactic acid is actually very down on the ingredient list which is going to make them this serum quite suitable also for those of you who are sensitive because lactic acid is very gentle even to the most sensitive skin. This is something that I truly love and appreciate here in this formulation. And it has glycerin, it has yeast extract. Overall, the formulation of the serum is quite good, I have to say. I'm very happy with the overall formulation. But once again, it is fragrance product, so you have to be aware of that. It feels very light on the skin. You can go ahead and try this serum if you want to. Of course, you have to apply some kind of a moisturizer on top because I find that even on my normal to combination skin, this one is not enough to replace my moisturizer. So keep that in mind when you're purchasing this kind of expensive skincare that you have to use the serum, you have to use um, a cream as well. And also this serum is very suitable for those of you who are fighting the first signs of aging or if you just want to have a good moisturizing serum that is going to protect your skin from external aggression this is an excellent serum, but it's not the kind of serum that is going to um, help you to fight with certain skin conditions. So if you have certain skin conditions such as, let's say you are trying to tackle pigmentation or you're trying to fight with deep wrinkles, this is not the kind of serum that is going to help you to reverse the condition of your skin. It's a great product, but let's um, let's get this straight. It's only for the first signs of aging. It is going to be great just to protect your skin from environmental aggressors, but it's not going to do much if you have any kind of skin condition. So you have to be okay with your skin and you're going to be fine with this skincare line. Next, moving on to the cream and I'm going to go ahead and just open the ingredient list of the cream. I absolutely love the cream. It has this very thick velvety texture, but it's not oily on the skin. I think that the cream and the serum both are suitable for all skin types, even if you have combination skin. I would say that they are going to suit all skin types because they both absorb very quickly into the skin. The cream is really, it feels really gorgeous. If you have tried the Sisley Velvet Nourishing Cream, it's my favorite moisturizer, one of my favorite moisturizers. This one is very similar in terms of feel 
as the Sisley Velvet Nourishing Cream. So it has the same thick consistency, but after you apply it, your skin is not going to be oily and the skin doesn't look oily, which is something that I truly appreciate. And this makes this moisturizer suitable for all skin types, in my opinion. So the cream has Camellia Japonica flower water. It has glycerin water. We see some tried and tested and proven skincare ingredients. It also has the Camellia Oleifera seed oil. It has shea butter. Overall, the whole formulation of the cream is quite good. It's not going to be irritating on sensitive skin. Once again, unless you are sensitive to fragrances. So a lot of people with sensitive skin like myself are not sensitive to fragrances. I don't have a problem to use fragranced skincare or fragranced makeup. So that's why I said it's very important to know your skin, how it reacts to skincare products. And of course, you have to know for yourself whether you're going to enjoy a fragranced skincare. For some people, this just adds to the experience. For other, other people, it's very bothering. Moving on to the revitalizing lotion. Now, to be honest with you, I rarely use lotions, this kind of lotions on my skin. This one is very similar. This is almost like a water. So this one is thicker than water, but lighter than serum. And it's a product that basically you use before your serum or you can even apply this one if you have sensitive skin before exfoliating your skin. Overall, it's not a product that is completely necessary in a skincare routine. That's my personal opinion. I love using um, sometimes this Le Mer treatment lotion and this lotion from Chanel is has the same consistency. It's just a little bit thicker than water but it's lighter than a serum. It helps to boost hydration, of course, if you have the money, but buying this on its own, I wouldn't recommend it. So I would recommend rather to go for the serum. If you were only to purchase one product from the skincare line, I would actually suggest you to go for the serum or for the moisturizer. They are going to be more beneficial. And this one is an additional product. So this one is if you, if you can buy, for example, the serum or the moisturizer, and you buy this lotion, then it's going to make sense. But if you only buy the lotion, I think that you're not going to be getting the full benefits of, of this skincare line, unless you have a really good serum that you want to use, and unless you are a Chanel lover who just you know wants to have something from this collection. But overall, this is one of my least favorite products in skincare lines as, as a whole. Next, we are moving on to the Numero 1 Serum in Mist. And this product is actually very interesting. However, again, not one of my favorites, just because I don't like the whole application process. I, it, you just have to spray it on your skin. And I find that it, somehow it irritates my eyes and I never, never like to spray something against my face unless it's a Vin Spring Thermo Water. That's the only spray that I sprayed just directly onto my face, especially since my eyes became very sensitive. This is not a bad product, actually. This is a good product if you want to add to your skincare routine. It's actually going to be very nice also to refresh yourself during the day. And it's very similar to the Hydra Beauty Fine Facial Mist. This one is a similar product. It's going to add a lot of hydration to your skin and it's great to use throughout the day. So if you're someone who is suffering with dry skin, I think that this one is going to be excellent just to carry with you during the day and to just reapply to refresh your skin in a way. Um, but overall, if you were only to purchase one or two products from the skincare line, I would say go for the serum and for the moisturizer because you're going to get more benefits. This one is still a spray, a mist. So, you know, let's not have huge expectations. It's a very good product to add to your skincare routine, but still it's an additional product. It's not something that can replace serum or moisturizer. That's the only thing that I just wanted to emphasize because I've seen sometimes people say, uh, well, I got this mist for face and it doesn't work. It doesn't do anything. It's not supposed to do that much. It's not supposed, this is not a product that is supposed to do as much as your serum is supposed to do, or it's not a product that is supposed to replace your moisturizer. So just keep that in mind. It's a great additional product though. And looking at the ingredient list, it is quite good. You can see you still have the Japonica flower water. You still have the glycerin. And it's a great, overall, it's a great moisturizing product. And then moving on to the last product from this skincare line, this is the Numero 1 Powder to Foam Cleanser. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't like powder to foam cleansers. I generally, 
I, I never liked them and that's why I'm not willing to purchase this one. Now, what are the products that I'm planning to purchase from this skincare line? First of all, I'm going to purchase the eye cream because it doesn't have a fragrance and I think that it's a great moisturizer. I love how it is formulated. No, it's not going to reverse wrinkles, but it has this light plumping effect of the fine lines under the eyes and it moisturizes the skin quite well. This is something that I truly enjoy, appreciate, and that's why I want to have this cream and I want to use this cream. This is a great moisturizer for the, for the under eye area. Then I'm definitely going to purchase the serum and the cream. I love the consistency of the cream. I love how it feels on the skin. I love that it doesn't make my skin oily and I love the formulation of the cream. I can handle um, and I can take the fragrance in this skincare line because I'm a Chanel lover. I love their fragrance overall and the, the products are not as heavily fragranced as the Hydra Beauty line. Probably right now at this point of my life, I wouldn't be able to handle the really heavily fragranced Hydra Beauty line. I think that they need to tone down the fragrance of the whole Hydra Beauty line. Even though the fragrance is absolutely gorgeous, it's literally like applying perfume to your face, which is something that right now I'm not okay with. But then the serum and the moisturizer, I'm definitely going to purchase them. The only reason why I'm not purchasing them right away is because I have um, a package that just arrived with skincare products that I purchased and first I need to go through those. Now be sure when you open a skincare product, be sure to use it and don't open a lot of skincare products at once because you're going to lose the benefits of skincare products. Keep in mind that once you open a skincare product, it expires. So it's good to use it actually. And this is the reason why for now I'm going to wait. And after I finish my current skincare routine, I'm going to purchase the serum and the moisturizer. For the summer, I'm very tempted to buy also the serum in a mist. I think it's going to be excellent product just to spray my face during the day, especially on the hot summer days. Let's say a word on the foundation. On the foundation, I'm going to have a full dedicated review. I already did a first impression review. I'm going to link it below and I'm going to have a full dedicated review of this foundation. I'm going to compare it to other Chanel foundations that I have. I have I've tried all Chanel foundations. Overall, I love it. It's very moisturizing and I would say that it's great for normal to dry skin, normal to slightly combination skin. But if you have oily skin, I would not recommend it because it is very moisturizing and it's quite glowy foundation. This is actually the foundation that I'm wearing today on my face. Okay, guys, and that was my review for the new Numero 1 de Chanel skincare line. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave me a comment if you've tried any of the products from this new skincare line. Um, and of course, if you've tried them for a couple of months or so, let us know what are the results that you are getting from this skincare products. This is going to be useful for our whole community. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate your time and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!